18 inches kukuri is the real ya yeah. real one real kukuri 18 inch this one is used for to cut the buffalo oh, okay. big big buffalo this one is used for the goat it's too heavy you want to try you want to hold it You have to cut in one shot, not two, two shot. You have to cut in one shot and one. So the people cut in like this. You can see the army here. My dad is a civil engineer. When you like cut it, the blood will come from here and pop it from here. If if blood may go there in your hand, it may slip. It may slip, so that's why it is made like this. The blood will come here from and drop it from here. That's why. This type of curve you can see. It is for the very like comfortable to hold it. It will not slip. Like you can see in this, hmm. it may slip. But this type of knife is a authentic, a typical one. The curve you can see, it will never slip. While uh, in rainy season also, the blood will come in your hand not slip and you can fight easily okay because blood is very slippery yeah if, if your blood will come like in your hand well while you are fighting it may slip so you don't have a weapon and you may click you may die in that side so that's why they make like this okay. each and every kukuri like uh, every part have one story <laughs> one story and one things like uh, definitions like yeah. if uh, people want to know People like prefer to know everything about the Gorkha Kukuris. And this type of is like Kanjar, you may know. Kanjar? Kanjar, yeah. Mm. It's a Kanjar in the silver plated with the yak bow. Nowadays they don't make like this type of knife, so it is a like antique piece. I may say that. You can see this one is like a plain one. Plain one and little bit little bit down downside. Down, yeah. yeah, it is a one creative, very strong and this knife is used in the first world war. This type of knife is used in the first world war, not this. This type of knife with the black cover, the typical and the authentic Gorkha knife you will search with the black, black cover. Black, black, black cover is like typical one. Like like this type of uh, cover is like newly designed. Newly designed. Newly designed. So Even this have. is also typical I think no. No, it no. is like the black cover is known as a typical Gorkha typical. knife. And like this type of knife is like the layer you can see one two three layers it is like uh, used in the second world war this type of knife because like you can see it's a little bit different in the sizes first world war and second world war yeah layer yeah layer you can you can see the weight also it is very vast different it is like second world war has got a little bit heavy 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 one yeah heavy one and it is like a, it is a thicker than uh, upside. upside. So if you, if you will, like you can see the shape and sizes, it is a little bit curved. While chopping, it will go to, through your bones. And like this, it will like only flesh your skins. It may cut your skins, but this because, one you because, can cut because the Because of the heavy weight, this will easily, yeah, easily, easily cut the bone. Go, go, uh, in go in the body cut, 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 cut the and bones. you can cut the bone also in one shot. The bone also can go. Yeah, inside the same cover you will get the two knives extra for sharpening. For sharpening one, and the second one is for in ancient time they don't have a mess stick or lighters in, while going in the forest. Oh, like, true, true light. Yeah, to to light, spark the light in oh, the stone, so they have to make knife. a fire. Yeah, so they they got a two knife extra oh, yeah. in knife the, the yeah. Like this type of knife you can see, it is like a newly designed with the yak bone. This one is a white cover, you can your white uh, part you can see, it is a yak bone, made by the yak bone and made by the, yeah, this is the, yeah, this is all yak bone. Okay, yeah, the different type is like this type of yak bone with the tin hood, okay, with the tin hood and the layer is designed by the second world war, with the handle extra, little bit extra. But now recently the army are not using uh, this type of knife, it is like this type of knife. 
Recently, the Gorkha army are using this type of knife. It is a hidden. A hidden. Yeah, it's a hidden. Like this. It will look like this. <laughs> so, for this one, you can, you, you know, for like, for, yeah, yeah, for the belt, the yeah, the Gorkha yeah. only puts in the, in this side and back side, in head also they put. So, it will be oh. easy to take it out and like, fight, yeah. So, like this type of, you can see. Now newly, like little bit, this one is a deer bone. Not this sure. one a deer bone with the yak cover, yak bone cover. You can see the inside. It's all yak bone, yak bone, and this is a deer bone. Deer and, bone. Yeah, deer bone. It is like uh, not for the hard work and all. It is a okay. half plated. It may break if you work, like okay. use like in the hard work like that type mm. of knife. So this may is break. more fancy. Yeah, more fancy for the decoration. People take like okay. this type. And the layer, layer they use the second world war. There will be the two type of knife with the half plate, with the full plate. You can you can see the plate. Okay. Okay. It is used for like you can use for the hard work also. You can cut the chickens you can cut the for the kitchen also you can decoration also but this one you if you walk we use for like this type of food it, cut may, it, break. it may break mm. hidden tank uh, like you can see like written straight uh, like everything like this one's an antique piece we got we got many antique pieces like uh, 90 years old 100 years old uh, like 120 years old, we have that knife, but this one is also antique, the plain one used in the first world war. Every single one is handmade. So handmade, they are handmade, a little bit different, but nowadays the people uh, don't need like this at ancestors time, like the pure Gorkha Kukuri, they don't need, they, they are preferring the new one, like with the yak bone, with the yak skin, like this type. It's like a dear, dear skins. Like oh, you can okay. see, it's a pure deer skins. Good also, you can cut it. This one, like good, the big one, wow. the big one with the black cover. Uh, it is used there, for. There the, is a photo outside. Yeah, yeah, outside. That that photo is when we got the festival. Nepali got one festival, Dasai festival. So it's our main festival, Nepali people main festival. So in that time we have to sacrifice some animals. Buffalo, goats, and all. So in that time we chop it. Each and every homes have to sacrifice one animal. And the next knife is like for the throwing and killing. You can see the stick. It is yeah throwing. One ancestor time, they we Gorkha don't use a guns and all. We don't have a guns and all. So it is our main weapon. So it is like uh, when ancestor time the people's uh, enemies are running. So we don't have a guns, right? So we will throw and kill. Throwing it is called as a balancing knife also. You can handle it, balance it. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Yeah, you can balance it, this knife. And this is like with a bone. It's a yak skin. Made by the yak skin. Yeah, it's a made by the yak skin. And you will get the two knife extra here for sharpening.